In Arizona, one of our major sources of water depends on snow melt from the Rocky Mountains to refill Lake Mead. Yeah, but after years of drought and rising temperatures, would a normal snowpack in the Rockies lead to a normal refill level for Lake Mead? Team 12's Michael Dodden of verifying that for us this morning. Yeah, guys, to answer this question, our sources are Haley Paul with Autobahn Southwest and the United States Bureau of Reclamation. Now, snow should melt into water, which flows downstream to fill our reservoirs. Or at least, that's how it's supposed to work. But the experts say years of warming and drought are throwing off that cycle. And so even when the Rocky Mountains get near normal levels of snowfall and overall precipitation, what we've seen the last couple years is below average river runoff levels. For example, back in 2020, we got around 85% of the average precipitation in the Rockies, but only 32% of the runoff. Haley Paul says because of drought and heat, soils and plants are more thirsty, so they drink up more water before it ever reaches our rivers. It's that domino effect, it's that compounding effect, where because we're on year 22 or whatever of our long mega drought, it's gonna take many wet winters to climb out of that hole. The end result is less water in places like Lake Mead, even when there are normal levels of precipitation. So we can verify that no, normal snowfall in the Rockies no longer means a normal amount of water to refill our reservoirs. Have something you want us to verify? Call, email, or text us. I'm Michael Doudna.